back to the number one truth fighter in Boston. The Warren Valentine Show, only on News Talk, 1090 AM, WILD Boston, where information is power. If mm-hmm. you go out in the backyard and plant some corn, if you don't cover it up, what happens? It Nothing. dies. Okay? If you mm-hmm. cover it up, every seed, in order for it to germinate, it have to suffocate. Mm. Okay? Now they say without a crucifixion, right? Mm-hmm. There could be what? No resurrection, right? Right. So what's the autopsy? You see, they didn't invent crucifixion for Jesus Christ. Huh? Right. They, they've always used that cross, huh? Right. To crucify people, right? Right. Okay, what happens if I, if I took you today and put you on a cross, right? Mm-hmm. And tied your hands. Mm-hmm. Instead of putting a nail in them. And then tied your feet, right? Right. What happens after three days? Your diaphragm slips and you stop breathing. You die from suffocation. Mm. Okay? See what happens when you start unwinding? Mm. You die, and that's what they mean. Without a crucifixion, there could be no resurrection. Mm. And so all at once now, all of this stuff come out. But if you don't know it, then you keep moving. If you don't know, you're supposed to be quiet on this. You don't know. You just overrun. If you, if you put it down in the have yeah, gifts have always been. But not to the extent that I got to go rob somebody to get a gift. I got to do this. I got to do that. And one thing about Christmas morning, it's so quiet. If you if you check and look at all of the the the, the, the major cities where there's crime, yeah, crime goes to point zero on Christmas morning, and crime don't rise back up again till sometime after four o'clock that evening. Mm. That's how that's and that's 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 not in moves. That's not just in Christian countries, huh? When right. you look at when you look at the Russians or the Orthodox, they've always they've always celebrated their Christmas on January the sixth. But remember, black folks in the black community, most of them didn't take their tree down till January the sixth. Right. Okay. So all of that is inside of us, and but they keep taking you to another level and to another level and to another level and then you then, then when you stop me say well wait a minute there was one person on the planet you know the story right adam mm-hmm. right right and then adam said to god i am lonely right right and god didn't say how can you be lonely when ain't nobody here but you oh <laughs> <laughs> see we're not talking about jesus uh, 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 Buddha. <laughs> we talking about the, the the force that put the whole universe together, right? Right. I know I ain't put nobody else here but you. So right. tell me about this loneliness, boy. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so they they twist and manipulate, you know. But but the, the universe you can never be lied to. King James version of the Bible, right? Right. It's his version. His version, right? Right. Now, my mother, my mother didn't know King James was king of England, okay? She, mm-hmm. she didn't know that. She just said, oh, King James, he's, he's a king, you know. I said, wait a minute, mom, he was king of England, and he was such a weird, weird homosexual. He hated women so bad, he killed his mother. His lover was Lord Buckingham, who Buckingham Palace is named after. Of. Now you see why women come off so bad in his version. If Dick Gregory wrote a version of how to play basketball, if I ain't got no legs, wouldn't my version be different? <laughs> it would be. Dick, I'm yep. going to let you finish your thought up here. And then before we go, what do you think about the shooting in Florida? I got a pers- perspective on that, that that my team think I'm I'm crazy okay, for thinking well, like this. Let me, let me finish this up, then I'll get that for you. Mm-hmm. Um, when Bush's book came out, Baby Bush, mm-hmm. and he agreed to the torture, right? Mm-hmm. Now, punch up on your computer, this is your Christmas present, Okay. that the Lord Mayor of London said, if he comes to London, I'm going to arrest him. Did you see that? I did not see that. Okay, now, here's why I want you to punch up the Lord Mayor. Uh-huh. London is not part of England, okay? The whole planet Earth is run out of London, okay? England, when you punch up the truth about London, see, England, London got their own flag, the, 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 the laws of London, the Bank of London, the London School of Economics, right? And then you see where it says in order for Queen Elizabeth to come into the London, she got to get permission from the Lord Mayor. And she have to dress as a servant. Now, when you see this, it's going to blow you out. The- <laughs> that's the 
that's what go on in the planet. And all the folks know what the secrets are, just like the Vatican, okay? The Vatican. Right, right. The I talked about that recently. The Vatican is not okay. even... And yeah. so that's what happened when Obama came into to Washington, D.C., and he bought Emmanuel. Well, look, man, if you're a high school football coach and I end up being the number one high school football player in the history of football, you don't qualify to go to Notre Dame with me and coach. Right. Well, them, them folks he bought him from Chicago, they didn't. They come in here and ran across these barracudas, and that's why they ran Emmanuel out of here. Your bosom friend, your buddy, even if they leave, they don't leave two weeks before a critical election, right? Right. <laughs> and Daly, you know Daly ain't going to abruptly just one day hold a press conference and say, I quit. The, they told him, saying, you know we can indict you now. Right. He say, so now here's what we want you to do. Next week, we want you to hold a press conference and say you're not going to run again. And that let, that let Emmanuel leave here with a little grace, but it ain't going to help. Now, when we get down to Florida, you all saw, we all saw that, right? Right. Well, here's what's wrong with that. He went in and was shooting, right? Right. And nobody got hit. Right. So did he have blank? Right. See, the, the brothers that went in to kill Malcolm, mm -hmm. Malcolm's on the stage, right? Right. They were shooting up. When we forced this government to give us the autopsies, right? Right. All the bullets in Malcolm is going down. They gave them brothers blanks. <laughs> right? Now... They say the cop is the hero. You see him and his wife on TV all week, right? Right. They say, women, uh, I don't know why women take off of us men what they do. Did you see that woman go there and hit him in his, his arm with the gun with her purse? Yeah, I saw it. And ain't nobody called her hero. They say he a fool. <laughs> they say he crazy. If that would have been a man, man, he'd be on stamps. <laughs> right. right. The cop is the cop a hero, and that's his job. Okay? Right. It wasn't that woman's job, man. You talk about bravery, and she went right. there and hit him. Now, I don't know why he didn't shoot her. Hmm? Then the cop shoots him, right? Right. Now, you, we see this whole thing unroll on film, right? Right. Now, nobody told us who was feminine. <laughs> right. right. We see everything except when he committed suicide. Right. Huh? Right. Was, right. Was, right. I, I mean, if you're showing me everything, right? You show me him on the floor. How come I don't see him put the gun to his head? Mm hmm You show everything from him going in there drawing on the blackboard to turning around, shooting, then the shootout, then he gets hit, and he say commit suicide. Well, look, the camera don't show that. Hmm? Now, see, that's the exact same. I, I, I promise you, Dick, when we came in here to talk about this on this show, the first thing I said was, wait a minute. Why didn't he shoot the woman? Maybe he had blanks in the gun and he knew he would have pulled and sh shot the woman. He would have been revealed right there. Number two, nobody gets hit. Number three, we see everything but the suicide. I believe that they killed this man, and I think this was a message, a, a message sent to somebody else. It was something. I, you know, I, I didn't go to that point, you know. But somewhere, now let, let me just say this, not to you, to the black folks listening. Mm -hmm. What make you Negroes think that you are the keeper of black behavior? Huh? <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> Y'all run around here talking about these black boys running with their pants below their drawers. Well, wait a minute. When them white children go to football games and take their clothes off and run across the field on nationwide TV, y'all call that streaking. I didn't see none of you black folks show up on that. Right. Now, you have a right to deal with your children. Here you've got billboards up with black folks with their pants. I dare you Negroes to put a billboard up showing drug pushers on the corner. Okay? Right, right. I dare you Negroes to put a billboard up showing police brutality, huh? Right. So what make you think? Because you black, you qualify to tell my child or somebody else what to do. You ain't telling nobody else. How is it that me being black bothers you? Uh-oh, Hitler never wore his pants below his drawers. Right. The Ku Klux Klan, <laughs> look at them lynchings. They never had their pants below their drawers, huh? Hello, these cops that shoot you in the back of the head 40 times, they never wear their pants. And the mafia, you can't get no immaculate than them. Huh? <laughs> Your priests been ripping off little boys for 100 years. Their pants was never down below that. They might take their pants off later. So who do you all think you are, huh? I ain't heard one of y'all raise y'all voice or go in and chastise a priest. Who do you think you are that you can tell black? I tell you what, black men in America, 
are the only men in the world that sing derogatory songs about their woman. That's right. And y'all call it That's the right. blues. I caught my baby in bed with my best friend. One, two, three, four, give me some more. Y'all need to go somewhere and shit up. <laughs> <laughs> shit up. Okay, and, and, and I'm saying this in all honesty. I'm a father of 10 black children, 12 grandchildren. Right. I don't have a right to tell your child right. nothing, huh? I don't have no right to tell you to stop chewing gums or stop wearing sunglasses. One of the worst things you can do is wear sunglasses because vitamin D comes from the sun. It goes through your pores. The only way vitamin D gets to your brain is through your eyes. That's why the super rich, the super, I ain't talking about chump rich. Last time you seen Quentin Elizabeth some sunglasses on. Huh? The yeah. super rich. Nobody wears sunglasses but a chump and a fool because they don't know. Well, I don't, well, I'm a chump and a fool then. I wear sunglasses. You're not supposed to wear them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> your, your brain do not get vitamin D. That's the only way vitamin D go through your brain is through your eyes. Huh? Wow. And so wow. what I'm saying is, so y'all going to sit yourself up? You, you going to knock a pork chop? I said when I became vegetarian, I said, look, to my meat-eating friends, I'm not going to knock no, no pork chop out your hand. <laughs> you understand? And don't put no ham hock in mine. Now, so, Dick, we're out of time for the show, but I got to have you back on here at the beginning of the year, man. You know I love you. We're out you, of time brother. for the show, and we will talk next year. Have a good holiday, and we will talk maybe Thank the you. first week first week of next year. Let's try to get you back okay, on. Okay, and happy Kwanzaa and all, all of that. Yes, sir. Love yes, you, sir. Brother. Love you, too, Thank brother. You. Thank you. All right, Truth Fighters, we got to get out of here. If you do nothing else, tell somebody you love them, appreciate them. You may not get that chance tomorrow. That's why I tell you every day. I love you with the love of Jesus. God bless you. God willing. St. Truth Fighter Time, St. Truth Fighter Channels, right here tomorrow morning on the Warren Ballantyne Show. Hey! Check the back, check the back, I'm Here's what you missed on Keeping It Real with the Reverend Al Sharpton. <laughs> Ms. Richardson. Yes, I have to commend George Reverend for speaking about baby Dr. Valier. This criminal is what I call him. He stole from those people. He stole everything, millions upon millions of dollars. Now he wants to come back. And you know, and we know what it's about. George, no, I know you know. It's about money. And the man is not going to do anything. He didn't do anything when he was there, when his father was there. They did nothing but contaminate that area and took everything and then they go in exile and hide well what kind of a man would go and hide someplace if he declares to be a man 25 years yeah 25 years you know is your business slow? These days you can't just wait for customers to come to the door. We're here to generate customers for your business. For over 56 years of broadcasting to you with a voice deeply rooted in the African American communities. Radio One has also served the Boston communities here and across the country for over 30 years. For over five years affiliated with Syndication One, launched in January 2006. No other radio station in Boston today are no match for the powerful voice and information. It's Boston's number one old school show in the country. It's the Times in the Morning Show weekdays. Followed by Compassion. Compelling black talk show starting at 10 a.m. with the number one truth fighter in Boston and across the country. It's the people's attorney, the Warren Bantai Show. Through the afternoons at 1 p.m. with the number one black talk show in Boston and also across the country. Keeping it real with the Reverend Al Sharpton. And the home for classic soul and R&B starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. Need help generating customers for your business, selling tickets for concerts, job fairs, and more? Call us right here at 1090 AM WILD. Tap into the urban adult market with Mitchell Boston and beyond. Call 617-970-4308 today. Continuing advertisement power from News Talk 1090 W I L D A M, where information is power. Unity through music 1090 W I L D Boston, a radio one station. Recently on the Tom Jordan Morning Show. Good morning, Miss Badu. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. How are your Good eyes? Are you, are you are you are you blind? Did you your eyes bleed after seeing it the first time? <laughs> yes. No, Jasmine Brown is fine. So. I want to know where can I get that that blob that was on yours? Because the blob saw everything and I saw nothing. <laughs> your pixelated blob looked dirty. <laughs> It's about real fun. It's the Tom Joyner Morning Show. Tom Joyner in the morning.
Eastern. Six to ten a.m. Eastern. Classic soul. Ten nine. The People Station. W I L D. The Riverdale Chapter and the National Action Network proudly presents the annual National Action Network Conference starting Wednesday, April 6th to Saturday, April 9th in New York City. Last year, 2010, was the first annual Measuring the Movement and demand chapters across the country. We'll follow up one year later on on the proactive measures for better employment, business creations, and better improvement in education. For more information, call 1-877-626-4651. one 626 Four six five one ten nine zero W I L D A W I L D. Where information is power. You will Group proudly presents Families Do Matter with your host Larry and Deborah Hickenbottom. Sundays from one to two p.m. Eastern on News Talk ten ninety AM W I L D Boston. Where information is power. <laughs> 